Today on The Stay at Home Chef, I'm showing you how to make mom's chicken and rice soup. This classic comfort food soup is ready in about 45 minutes and it's perfect for a cold, wintry day. Before you start cooking, there's a few ingredients you'll want to prep first. You'll need to slice about one cup of carrots, so three or four carrots, and dice one white or yellow onion. You'll need about half a cup of sliced celery, so about three ribs maybe, depending on their size and then you'll need a quarter cup of freshly squeezed lemon juice. And last, you'll need about a tablespoon of minced or pressed garlic and a tablespoon of freshly minced or pressed ginger. Once you've got all that prepped, grab a large soup pot and let's head on over to the stove. We're gonna get about one tablespoon of olive oil heating over medium high heat. Then add in about two pounds of boneless, skinless chicken breasts. Then we're gonna season these with about one teaspoon of salt and half a teaspoon of black pepper. We are not cooking these chicken breasts all the way through yet, we're just searing them off. You just want a little color on each side, which will take about two to three minutes per side. Then pull these out and transfer them to a cutting board or a plate. We're gonna add them back to the pot later to finish cooking. Now you could always use pre-cooked shredded chicken in this recipe, but I like cooking up the chicken breasts themselves because it does add a lot of flavor. We're gonna add another one tablespoon of olive oil to the pan. Then we'll add in our onion, our sliced carrots, and our sliced celery. We're gonna let these saute to gather a little bit of flavor for about, oh, four or five minutes. All of the little bits and pieces of chicken that stuck to the pan are flavor, so don't wash or wipe out your pan. You don't wanna lose any of that goodness. Once the onions just start to get soft, you'll add in your minced garlic and your minced ginger and one cup of some sort of long grain white rice. We're gonna toast all of this for about two to three minutes. Now you can use other types of rice. I prefer a long grain white rice because it cooks the fastest and it works out the best with the chicken. If you wanna use a different type of rice, I'll include those instructions on my website with the recipe. After two to three minutes, the ginger and garlic should be nice and fragrant. And then it's time to return the chicken to the pot. Then we'll pour in eight cups of chicken broth. Then season with one teaspoon of dried thyme and one teaspoon of dried oregano, and we'll bring this to a simmer. We're gonna let this simmer for about 15 minutes until the chicken is completely cooked through. After 15 minutes, we're gonna pull out our chicken breasts and transfer them to either a plate or a cutting board. Now, it doesn't matter if there's any rice or veggies stuck to your chicken, you're just gonna grab two forks and shred that meat right up. Then return all of that shredded chicken back into the soup pot. Give it another five minutes for the rice to finish cooking, then turn off the heat and pour in a quarter cup of freshly squeezed lemon juice. Give it a stir, and then you are ready to eat. The rice will continue to absorb liquid, so this soup is best served hot and fresh. If you need to scale the recipe to smaller proportions, then you can use my website. It actually has this great calculator on it that will do the scaling for you. Thanks for watching. You can find the full written recipe in the video description. Be sure to subscribe, like, and follow, and check out the rest of my videos where you can find hundreds of restaurant quality recipes you can easily make at home. See you later.